Seven, six, five, four. Command engine start. Two, one. oxygen as the propellant. It's a nice, not just clean in terms of uh, beautifully performing, but what comes out of it, it's steam, right? Whew. To see the, to see the, 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 the glow of the, of the engine underneath the rocket just under our shoulders and to know that we've got a crew that is going to space, it, it, it just feels different, doesn't it, Gary? It is totally different. We are... <laughs> Watching history, the first all right, you unpiloted along, suborbital course, flight the the with an all-civilian you know, crew, in the, uh, middle two minutes in the air now. There. Tom, at what point do we see that capsule start to, so uh, tar- start to separate to from the rocket flight. booster? I think we're at a that'll occur, I think, at about the six minute mark, uh, Craig, but I don't have the exact timeline. I All think right, we should just make the point to the viewer who's watching and that the female voice you hear is the voice of uh, Blue Origins Mission Control. This is not NASA. This is not a government entity uh, that is providing us that kind of data straight from NASA. This is, of course, a private company providing us their narration. Uh, and so we're very mindful of that. But you're going to get spectacular views here and you're going to get the engineering expertise, of course, as well. Uh, from from uh, Blue Origin's own mission control. Unreal. Awaiting separation here. Ron Garen is also with me, of course, Ron, former NASA astronaut, F-16 fighter pilot. Ron, what's happening right now in, inside that cabin? What are those astronauts feeling? What are they seeing? And here we are. You can start. Well, well they uh, had that the engine cut off. And so they went from feeling like they were being pushed back in their chair with an elephant sitting on their chest to being weightless. And so I think they're probably getting ready to unstrap uh, the whole way up. They saw that view out the window uh, and they're probably marveling right now at uh, the indescribable beauty of our planet and the thinness of the atmosphere and the curvature of the earth. And uh, I hope they're having a wonderful time. Ron, there are so few people who have who have seen that view, that view that that you and other astronauts have enjoyed. Can, Can you describe it at all for us? Yeah, I think what I experienced in space the first time I looked out the window was an uh, indescribable feeling of, of gratitude. Gratitude for the opportunity to see the planet from that vantage point and gratitude for the planet that we've been given. And I think in a way that I, I won't be able to fully explain, being physically detached from the Earth made me feel deeply interconnected and deeply interdependent with everyone on it. I think I saw the true unity of our planet, the true unity of our species, and all those things we fight over and quarrel over, all those things we think are so important, kind of blurred into insignificance in the face of that indescribable beauty. Any moment now, we're told that um, that capsule is is going to separate from the rocket booster. And Mr. Costello, at what point will these civilian astronauts begin to experience that weightlessness? Yeah, they'll, they'll get it pretty darn quickly. And I'm trying to listen in to Mission Control as well, because she's our best source on exactly what's happening up there. Um, as we mentioned earlier, uh, we have been waiting for more, uh, more details from Blue Origin. Some of that they hold close to the vest. So the best description of what's happening. One minute warning, one minute warning. 
Yeah, I think that's. <laughs> Let's try to listen in to Blue Blue Origin Mission right Control now. for just a bit. Let's try to listen in. Got it. Oh, wow. Guys, take a moment to do that. Okay, get in. Get in. Get in. Right, so we are hearing them floating inside the capsule and taking the photographs of yeah. each other. Everybody in? First step, status check. We don't have the video of that just Action yet, Tom, over. but what we can do is describe on the, the right side of your screen, you are seeing that that capsule. It has, as you can see there, detached from the rocket booster. That's precisely what's supposed to happen. And in just a few moments, you'll see three parachutes as well. Um, bringing that capsule back to the ground. And when I mentioned, when I mentioned the six minute mark, that I meant to say, that's at about the point that they get back into their seats. I think that's where we are now. Are now keep in mind, we're gonna probably get shots of the rocket coming back down and the space capsule separately parachuting down that's that's what we're looking at on the right side of the screen that um, that that rocket booster is descending copy yep that's right you're looking at the rocket booster it'll come back down land on a pad here back down in west texas separately followed by the space capsule which will be under parachutes so a phenomenal shot of the rocket booster coming back down on new shepherd so far phenomenal flight our booster and what you just heard here was a sonic boom there As the rocket comes relaunch. back down to Earth. The sonic boom? My goodness. And the booster has landed. The booster's on the ground, and Tom. Booster, touchdown, welcome back, New Shepard. A beautiful rocket that provided a beautiful flight to space. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.